Hello, everybody. I thought I'd just do a little process video today. I got a few things that I have sitting on my desk here that um, we need to, uh, I need to finish up because I have a lot of projects. One of these things that I need to finish up are my, um, my flowers here. I've been putting together, um, I have about seven or eight people that um, are just starting junk journaling and um, they don't have a whole lot of embellishments and things to, to start. And um, so I'm just kind of giving, I'm kind of putting some things together here to kind of um, give them a start. And I had all of these uh, flowers that I had gotten one time at a, um, at a uh, scrapbooking um, expo. And so I just thought, well, I'll take care of these, and um, I haven't used, I've used some of them, but I think I had some green things and some other stuff, and so I thought, well, I'll just put some of these together and, uh, and put those in their packages. I have a few packages already started, so. The other thing I have to do today is, is uh, talk about start my Inktober thing. So, um... This is my little Inktober book, and uh, um, this is just a junk journal, and um, it's got all different kinds of pages in it that are just um, scraps and things like that, and Inktober is all about doing anything in ink. I also have some clear gesso here, and so we are... Um, I think I'm going to put some clear gesso on, uh, I think I'll put some clear gesso on my, um, on my pages to get started. I haven't decided yet. I'm looking for my, my, uh, what do you call it? I'm looking for my, my dryer. Here we go. Because you can't put gesso on without trying it. Okay, here I am. I'm back. Um, kind of do my dryer. I just kind of show you how I prepare my pages. I'll do a few of them because today's the uh, haven't started yet. And I think today, so that was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yes, yeah, so today's day five, October the fifth. And so far, I haven't done anything. So. I'm doing a, I did an Inktober a couple of years ago where I had a, a very small um, junk journal to do it, and it really was, uh, it really, really worked very, very well. So now I don't know where I did with my stuff either, so. Oh, hey, where are you? Oh, here we go. All right. See, my process videos are very messy because um, I just do things the way I feel like doing them, but I do have to do this. This is a, this is a have to. This is clear gesso. Um, this prepares the paper, but it doesn't add white or anything like that. So if I want to do that, I can't, but that'll, that'll have to be later. Let me get a brush here. And then I'll just, um, I'll, just, I'll prepare five pages. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Take something here and put it under here. Okay. Then all you do is just, you know, it'll, go, it'll dry clear, but that way it takes pen. It's, it's just, um, because this isn't really like a watercolor paper or anything like that. It's just plain old ordinary papers. So the clear gesso just kind of helps them to accept paint or whatever else you you want to put on them, and uh, and then that way it's so. and then you can kind of too um, if you dry them in between it kind of helps with the whole. Um, now I don't do if I'm use, actually using color. Uh, watercolor paper or an actual sketchbook for watercolor or pen. I don't usually add gesso. Gesso is usually just something that I would add to something that's rough or something that's like this. It's just not 
you know, ready to do that. And you can actually feel, you can actually feel the chief on here now, um, which will hold that, um, hold that paper, hold that watercolor and whatever else I decide to put on here. So now I'm gonna do this again. So there we go. As you can see, this was a, um, I can feel the tooth, and that is so cool. Um, it gives it a texture, and you can actually feel the texture, which will grab onto that watercolor or pen or whatever it is you're using and hold it so it won't like, like spread out all over the, the, page, the, page, the page of the paper. So. And oh, by the way, I'm just going to, I'm just doing it on one side because that's all I'm going to be doing it on is so the other side of this will be whatever it is. So I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just be using each one side for the um, prompt of whatever it is. You have a lot of ideas about this prompt. Like this one, the first one is dream. So what I was going to do is draw a rudimentary dream catcher and then put the word dream in the center of it. So that was my thought on that one. The second one is spiders. That's an easy one. I love to draw spiders. And then payoff. Hmm. So sometimes people will take these prompts and they will take and just really turn them into um, a work of art, as it were. But I just, um, I turn them into just sort of a sketch um, with my black pen and then I might get a little bit of color but um, usually if I'm going to add color which is what I'm going to do this time I usually add um, watercolor um, because um, I think ink and watercolor together are just the coolest um, mediums so And by the way, you just need a really light coat for when you're when you're um, when you're using a book that's just got this kind of paper in it. All right, very cool. Got a little heavy with my the brush on that. Yeah. Okay. And one more. And then I'll I can start working in this um, tonight. While I'm watching television. I can that's the other thing if I use really small sketchbooks like this, I can actually do this while I'm just sitting in my chair in there because there's no like heavy you know, a pen and a little sketchbook here, a little sheet of paper, and I can, you know, practice my my art and my um, doing my, and I think that's why I do Ink over every year and do some of the doodle, the doodles, is because it just gives me an opportunity to very quickly um, do something artistic while I'm sitting watching television. So some people get and we'll crochet while they're watching the tube. I, I do little drawings. So. This do this is um this was a that is so cool because what that's gonna do is not only is it gonna take this is a, a vellum piece, a secret. So not only is this gonna take my color well, but then anything I put on here, oh I just love the way this feels. I just love the way this texture feels on this. It is so cool. Alright. I'm going to do that one. In. Okay, so. Here we go. We got that ready to, to take some paint. I'll put my paintbrush back here. Okay, so this is this. Put that away. And then, um, this, um, I haven't decided yet, but this was some of my 
somebody who print, uh, made these um, right now, and uh, which I think are very, very cool. I'm debating right now. These are going to be definitely be um, tags. It is just so pretty. These are definitely going to be tags too. Um, either tags or something like that. Um, however, hmm, yeah. Okay, so that's what these are going to be. Um, these might just be page, pages in my journal. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it, but I, I haven't been printing too much off. Oh, look at this. Oh, how cool. Oh, my goodness. Let's get some thingies here. So, what are we going to do? So, this is, what were we going to do with the, I think we were going to still do the, um, the silver. Not the green, but the silver. Okay, here we go. Let's put those in here. That way I can keep them out. only have, do I have three or four of these? I have three. Okay. This is going to make a great, this is going to make a great base for a, um, for an art journal page. So then we have to do the whole, you know, I don't have a, I can't tell what I'm doing because I do, don't have fingers that work. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. We've got the right tools. You know, I'm going to want to front this up a little bit more. So, even though it It'll cool down when I when I close my art journal over it. But oh my god! Okay, here we go. That is so cool. I don't know what to do with these. Hmm, I love it. In the in the um, since I have three of them. So, have you ever heard of the fact that uh, three of something uh, is um, like you divide your you divide your page or your thing in threes and then um, in thirds, and then that keeps everything sort of oh, I don't know what you want to call it um, sort of uh, what's it called? And you keep everything pleasing. Well, it's just pleasing to the eye because that's, you know, when you do things in thirds. So it's a very cool um, thing here. So here we go. I'm going to put this one here. And then we'll put one down here. And then we'll have one in each third of the page. And it will be awesome. I hope when you watch these videos that. You get some idea of, of, you know, just some different things to do that um, will make your art journals or your collages or your, um, uh, mm -hmm. your embellishments for your, uh, for your uh, junk journals or whatever it is that you're doing that you just get some ideas. Um, I will post... Uh, sometimes I will post um, files on the Facebook page so that you can just kind of take a look at them and see um, you know, if you want to use them or not. I'm going to be using um, to make some uh, tags for my okay. and then one more. Oh, this is beautiful. In fact, it's really pretty just by itself. I am going to cut the white off, the, the light part off. And, um, okay. I'm going to cut the light part off. Yeah. These are just 
for being arthritic. My fingers are working pretty well today. Um, on the little thingy. Okay. I had to, um, those of you who know me well know that I, um, I sell meal solutions and spices for people that like to eat gluten-free or preservative-free and don't like all that other stuff in their, um, in their uh, food and um, so that was uh, so I will sit and cut these things then my other thing that I was going to talk about just a couple more things that I want to just show you very briefly here um, so here's my my uh, little my little house and I am going to make a an art journal, I think. I'm not real sure yet. An art journal out of this. Or some Halloween, uh, Halloween cards. I don't know yet. If I make Halloween cards, then they'll be, uh, I'll, we'll go online and shrink, shrink this down to where it's can fit it into an envelope. Um, uh, and I, I might make it the cover of, uh, of some, um, uh, little, little, um, tags for you know for people to tear off and and use or you know just make several copies of this and um, put them together like in a little book and then they can tear them off and use them in their junk journals or whatever but I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet so but um, I thought this was kind of cool uh, this was when I was into um, doing Zentangle and just and ghost and Halloween and all that kind of stuff. So that's that. This is um, I'm gonna take and I'm going to actually take and um, turn this into uh, into tags for um, again for my uh, people's junk journal. Uh, the, my eight people I'm gonna give make them a tag out of each one of these things and. Um, uh, sort of give them something. I'm going to look to see if this is online on in Creative Minds because you can do the same thing with it. Just print it off. Um, if you want to, you can print it off on um, on uh, paper that is uh, um, glue back paper. Sticker paper. There you go. You can put it on sticker paper and then um, peel back peel the sticker back from it and then stick it on to cardboard before you do your cutting of your tags and that will work really quite well. And plus if you use sticker paper that's got a little shine to it that will make it easy. But then you can decorate them and do whatever you want to them once you make them and I will be making these in a few days so um, maybe I'll jump on here and, and show you what they look like when I'm done. So that's the other project that I'm working on. Um, this other project is this kind of cool too. Let me go over and get it here. Okay, so a friend of mine, um, a friend of mine was uh, uh, posting um, uh, posting stamps um, online, and so what I thought I would do is print a copy of this off. And then I'm just going to quickly show you um, something. I'm going to get back here to my my, cut, my cutting thing, my cutting board here. Get my. Um, if you're going to use a craft knife, make sure you use um, a metal ruler, and um, that's got a um, a nonstick cork surface on the back. So I'm just going to do one real quick and show you what the idea is and then um, I think I might post this on the, the, the Facebook post uh, group 
also in case you want to try this or if you want to do this with your own things that you already have done. I do have some um, some uh, frames. Now these are frames, but they're they're supposed to frame um, a pictures that you can make a postage stamp out of. So let me just I can do this here. Got to get that inside out. I think I need to change the blade on my, my craft knife here. And by the way, um, I just, this just keeps doing this kind of stuff. Using, still using my hands, even though they hurt sometimes. It's really very good for them. I know it's hard to do, um, but when you have arthritis, if you don't want to just like not be able to use hands and things anymore. You just got to keep doing it. Um, and uh, no matter how it hurts, if you, especially if you're somebody that uses their hands for crafting or painting or anything like that, if you still want to do what you love, you just got to sometimes just force your way through through this stuff here. Okay, let's see if this is, we got this done. Hold on. We got a little bit up there. So that would be, I would do all of them like that. Use my little my little craft knife here. And do all of them, and I'm gonna do it's one of my projects for this uh, this month. And then I'm gonna take and cut cut as close as to as close to the to this as I can without cutting into it. So another put the frame in a frame as it were. And then this is gonna this is gonna be good for magazines. Um, if you want to make uh, things something out of magazines to put in your junk journals, so let's go get some magazines here. I don't know where they went. kind of cleaning out some things and so I'll just use my book here to kind of show you. So you would take your magazine page or um, what other page what other pages you would have. Here we go. I found them. I found the magazine pages. Here we go. Okay, here's one. Okay, here's some more. Let me pull these out here. Two, three. Here we go. Magazine pages. These are pages I cut out that I like because they're just really, really, really um, pretty, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so get my little, my little, um, So then you take, I'm going to take this away now. I'm so organized. And then you take and you start moving your frame around on your magazine page. So, you know, to see what, what would look, what would show up in your frame and be, you know, really, really pretty or not. I like that one there. It's kind of dark, but I like it. So let's see, we can go over here. This, oh, this is nice. Yeah, see, I like that. Or like this. That's kind of cool too. Or even if you just want to show some flowers or put some various colors in there. And you're going to have all kinds of frames, so that's kind of cool. Plus, it's got this, um, okay, 
or something. It's kind of cool. Check it out. Look at that. It's very cool. Once you find what it is you want to use, this is a, something else. This is something else. So what you do after you find your um, after you find the spot that you want to put your frame in, okay, you take your glue stick or whatever it is you're using for glue, and let's see, I'm just gonna try to find something here to. Especially on the edge, yeah. Especially not on the edge of the, the uh, on the inside edge. Especially on the inside edge. Then you lay it in your spot here. Okay. In your spot like that. Now I have an edger that. I should never clean it up until I'm done crafting completely. It would be my, my children would have to clean up. So, what you do then is you cut it off. take your stamp edger, which I have right here. It actually says stamp. Go like that. And there you go. A beautiful stamp made from a magazine page. Then, um, so that's another project that I will be finishing this week. And um, let's see, is there anything else? No, I think that's going to keep me pretty busy until um, till next week. Uh, I do have a couple of other things that I want to do. I want to show you how to make some books. I've got some cover papers um, done, and I'm going to be using those. But right now, I think um, we're pretty much finished with the day. And, yeah. Okay, so, in fact, I think I might sit here for a little bit longer and make some more of these. And then, uh, up while, my, while my video is uploading. So, talk to you soon. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.